boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you a story about the famous artist Vincent Van Gogh. It's called Van Gogh, Sunflowers and Swirly Stars. Um, today is March 30th and Van Gogh was born on March 30th, 1853. Um, so if you're watching the story uh, and video the day that I'm filming it, it is Vincent Van Gogh's birthday. Um, and I wore my favorite Van Gogh shirt with a picture of him and it says, let it go. And then my favorite Vincent Van Gogh skirt of his famous painting, The Starry Night, which we'll learn about a little in the story today. So sunflowers and swirly stars. This story is written like a report. So a few questions that the teacher asked are, why did you pick your artist? If you could ask your artist three questions, what would they be? And did you learn anything that you that really surprised you? Stories of the not so rich and not so famous. Did you think Vincent Van Gogh got rich from being an artist? I did. I heard on TV that one of his paintings sold for over $82 million. It's called The Portrait of Dr. Gachette. Painting would be a cool way to earn lots of money. I thought Van Gogh was lucky to have earned that much for just one picture. That is why I picked him for my fa favorite artist. But then I found out the truth. Van Gogh was poor his whole life. He did not become famous until after he died. When Vincent was a baby. Vincent Van Gogh was born on March 30th, 1853. He lived in a little town in Holland named Groot Sunder. His father was a preacher and his mother was a housewife. There were six kids in his family and he was the oldest. I know what that's like. I have a little brother and little sister, and I am the oldest, too. So this is a portrait, um, or a self-portrait, that Vincent Van Gogh did. Um, the same picture that's on my shirt. And then this is a picture of him from when he was 13 years old. Vincent's favorite brother was named Theo. Theo always tried to help him out of trouble, and Vincent Van Gogh got into plenty of that. School was no fun for Vincent. He got bad grades and had a hard time making friends. He quit school when he was only 16. <clears throat> this is the art gallery where Vincent worked. Luckily, Vincent's uncle gave him a job at an art gallery in Holland. This was his first big break. At home, Vincent didn't get to go to art museums. There weren't any art books around either, but, that, but at his new job, Vincent saw art all day long. So he really liked it. He was so good at his job that his bosses gave him a promotion and he sent him to work in an art gallery in London, England. Things were looking up. When Vincent moved away, I think he really missed Theo. Vincent wrote Theo lots of letters. He drew pictures all around the edges of the paper and there were pictures of buildings, interesting things that he saw in those days. Most people didn't have cameras. It's a good thing Vincent could draw. Vincent messes up. Soon, Vincent was in trouble again. He fell in love with a woman that, he that didn't love him back. He felt sad all of the time, and sometimes he forgot to go to work. Guess what? He lost his job. Now Vincent needed a new job. He tried being a teacher. That didn't work out. He tried selling books in a bookstore. That didn't work out either. Then he tried to be a preacher. Nope. Vincent felt like a failure when these jobs didn't work out. So this is kind of a little little game board um, showing Vincent Van Gogh and kind of all the things that didn't work out for him. And then at the bottom it says, now what? <clears throat> Next, Vincent decided to be a painter. He didn't start out as a great artist. Most artists began painting when they were a lot younger. Vincent had a lot of catching up to do. He practiced by copying other artists at first. Two of his favorites were Rembrandt and Jean-Francois Millet. They painted with dark colors, so Vincent did too. Vincent wanted to paint pictures of things that he cared about. There were lots of poor people in his neighborhood, and he worried about them. He painted a picture of them called the Potato Eaters. Vincent worked on the picture for months. He was very proud of it, but the colors are dark and the people look sad. Says, I don't like it, and nobody else did either. So it says, guess what the people in the potato eaters are eating. Time to move. 
Vincent went to live in Paris, France in 1866. He met lots of other artists there. Most of them, like Claude Monet, are famous today, but back then they were just struggling artists like Vincent. In Vincent's time, artists painted pictures to look real, almost like photographs. Some artists began experimenting to put their feelings into their paintings. Their brushstrokes showed, and these artists were nicknamed Impressionists because they painted their impressions of things that they saw. People were shocked by their art. Vincent made friends with artists named Paul Signac and Georgia Surratt. They painted in a style called pointillism. Up close, their pictures looked like a mess of dots, but from far away, they looked like regular paintings. Okay, so up until this time, um, all artists, especially famous artists, um, painted things very realistically. Okay, they were so real looking that they almost looked like photographs. Um, and to become a famous artist or recognized as a good artist, you had to be able to paint things in a realistic way. So artists like Vincent Van Gogh, Claude Monet, and Seurat started to break the rules and paint in a different way where they painted with dots, big brush strokes, um, and they painted very quickly. They wanted to capture the impression of something or the way that something looked in the moment. Dots, swirls, dashes, and dots. Paul Signac tried to get Vincent to paint with dots. Instead of just dots, Vincent tried something else. He painted with dashes and swirls. The best thing about Paris was that Theo lived there too. Vincent and his brother became roommates. Sounds great, huh? Wrong. Vincent was a pest. He liked to argue, he was messy too, and sometimes he just tried too hard. He got so excited about painting that he drove other people crazy. Theo's friends didn't like Vincent, and they wouldn't come over anymore. Theo wanted Vincent to move out. After two years, he finally did. Vincent and Theo stayed best buddies, even though they fought a lot. Everyone else ignored Vincent's paintings, but Theo always told him how wonderful they were. It says, I agree with Theo. I think that Vincent's pictures are great. Everything in them looks alive and like it's moving. The sky, the trees, even people's clothes and skin. Sunflowers. Vincent left Paris and headed to the South Arles in France. He moved into a house that he shared for a while with another painter named Paul Gauguin. The house was yellow. Yellow was Vincent's favorite color. Vincent painted all of the time in Arles, and he got better and better at it. He liked to paint pictures of people, but there was something else that he liked to paint. Flowers. Every morning, he got up early and picked a bunch of yellow sunflowers that grew near his house. Vincent would paint still life pictures of sunflowers until they got droopy. Sometimes he painted two sunflower pictures in one day. His sunflower paintings looked happy. I think that he was in a good mood when he painted them. Work, work, work. Vincent loved to work. One time he painted 18 pictures in just 26 days. He painted fast because he wanted to get his feelings into the picture before he forgot them. Vincent's paintings took weeks to dry because he put the paint on really thick. He even squirted onto the picture straight from the tube when he was in a hurry. He was always buying paint, paint, and more paint. Paint brushes and canvas cost a lot of money. Sometimes Vincent had to choose between paint and food. He didn't have enough money for both. He chose paint. He must have really loved painting. Theo wasn't rich either, but he believed in Vincent 100%. He wanted him to be able to paint as much as he wanted. So Theo bought him as much paint as he could. He even sent him an allowance. He says, I don't know how much. Okay, so can you believe that Vincent Van Gogh sometimes was hungry and he chose to buy paint over food? Um, he was so passionate about painting that that came first. It came before anything else. Weirdo. Vincent didn't like to paint from his imagination. He usually went outside to paint. Things he saw, he painted all day in the hot sun, and when it got dark, he stuck candles in his hat and just kept working. The people in Arles thought that Vincent was weird because he did things like that. As usual, Vincent didn't have many friends and he couldn't sell any paintings. He was lonely and sad. Um, this is a picture of Vincent's room. 
um, that he painted and then the author and illustrator of the story drew a picture of their room. So you could draw a picture of your room if you wanted to uh, make a picture like Vincent. One day, Vincent went a little crazy and cut off part of his ear. He gave it to a woman as a present. The police came and took him to a hospital, and he almost died. When he got better, he kept on painting, but he was never really the same after that. If I met Vincent Van Gogh, I would ask him three questions. Were you sorry that you cut off your ear? Which one of your paintings do you like best? And what was the happiest day of your life? And I would tell him something too. Don't worry if you don't sell any paintings right now. Someday you'll be famous. Okay, so Vincent Van Gogh had a very hard life. Um, he never knew that people liked his paintings, and he was so passionate about them um, that he was really sad uh, because he created artwork all of the time, um, but he didn't know that anybody liked his pictures. Vincent named this picture The Starry Night. I like the swirly stars. I think it's the best painting. Now Vincent's paintings are in museums all over the world. I have, it says, I've never seen a real painting by Vincent Van Gogh, but I hope that I will someday. Um, this painting of the Starry Night is actually at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Um, it's one of the most famous and recognizable paintings um, today. Um, and it's actually very small. A lot of times when we see artists' pictures and stories, we're not sure how big they are. Sometimes they're huge, like the size of a wall. But Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night is actually, um, it's very small, almost like the size of a notebook. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed a little history about um, Vincent Van Gogh today. Um, have an awesome, awesome rest of your day.